So if you start out just by saying your name and where you're fighting out of, we'll use that as kind of an introduction. All right. I'm Niall Bartling. I'm from Unadilla, Nebraska. I'm fighting out of Glory MMA and Fitness in Lee Summit, Missouri. Fantastic. So what, what, what got you on this journey, man? Start on your, your martial arts path, the, 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 the journey to being a pro fighter. Uh, man, I competed in college wrestling, and I didn't really have an outlet to compete when I was done. And, you know, I got into a martial arts gym, and I fell in love with it, and here I am today, man. That's awesome. When you were wrestling, did you think, like, hey, man, maybe I'll, maybe I'll fight at some point? No, I really didn't at the time. I just, you know, I didn't know I'd crave the competition so much when I was done competing. Nice. Uh, and fighting out of a very reputable academy, obviously a reputable uh, organization in the area as well that you've competed for. I mean, uh, did you think that you were going to be able to make it through that way, or, or did you always think, I guess not always be on the Ultimate Fighter, but, I mean, did this appeal to you, or is it like, I don't know, I think I can make it anyway? Well, uh, I, I got onto the looking for a fight card that was yesterday in Kansas City. It was on the 6th. Well, I had to make the decision between this and that, and I just wanted to have the experience of this. You know, I grew up watching the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, I don't admit this very often, but I don't fall along with MMA too close, you know, if I'm not doing it. So the Ultimate Fighter is one thing that's always kept me connected, and I'm just excited to be here. That's awesome. I was going to ask you about that card yesterday. So did, did you talk to James, or like who, who made the decision that this was the way to go? Uh, I talked to James about it, you know. Um, we both had our opinions on it, and ultimately he let me make the decision, and I chose this route. Nice. 100% uh, finishing rate, I mean, uh, is that something you take pride in? And what do you think, why do you think you've been able to be so effective like that? Man, just uh, in and out, you know, the, it doesn't have to be fancy, I don't think, you know. I just like getting the W, and it'll make the longevity of my career longer, you know, not take much damage. Nice. I do have to ask, there's a note here in your bio that you shot yourself in a foot <laughs> during an accident and died, or a hunting accident. What, what, what happened there? Yeah, man, me and my brother were out turkey hunting. Uh, it was actually, eight, I can tell you the exact date, April 26th of 2020. Um, you know, we were out hunting, and I got home, and my gun had jammed. And uh, so I started messing with that in the garage, and I had it rested on my foot because I didn't want to scratch the barrel. And uh, it went off, you know. I uh, jiggled it the wrong way, I think. And it actually had an empty in, and the, it mouth, you know, it cycled it out. And that, uh, the live round, this fired all the way through. So, um Ended up going to the hospital, you know, man, I was in and out of the hospital for like a year and a half, you know, at first the doctors were telling me that, you know, we got to keep infection out, you know, uh, thought that I might lose my foot. And then, so that was the battle there and um, just rolled into here I am. That's amazing. So is there any permanent damage at all or? Uh, I have two toes that will never move again. And uh, I have a scar down there, but it'll stick with me forever. So it's made me a lot better for it. So you, you said that, you know, this experience, I mean, what will it mean to you? Like you said, this was like, your connection to the sport. So what, what does it mean? I mean, what's the feel like at this moment? Man, right now it's been a lot of butterflies sitting at the hotel room. Um, I'm just looking forward to the, like, the competition side. You know, there's a lot of people I have to prove wrong. You know, there's people saying, man, these guys are not, aren't, are fighting aren't very good. And, then, you know, here I am on this platform looking forward to compete and just really show out and show who I am. That's awesome. I guess last thing for me, I mean, have you started eyeing the competition a little bit yet and, and sizing everybody up? Do you feel like, you know, you've got what it takes to win this thing? Man, I'm sure everyone else was sitting in their room, you know, when they found out the names of these people, watching as much video and t tape on them as they could. I didn't even pick it up and look at my phone. I'll just roll with the punches and go that way. I'm all right with it. Thank you.